มาก็อยากจะถามโยมดีหน้าเหมือนกันว่าทําไมมีศรัทธามากมายที่เริ่มต้นจัดกิจกรรมสร้างศูนย์โพธิกุสมา So Anti I want to ask you more questions so uh, just tell us about Bodhi Kusuma in terms of the time from the start the first center the timeline I think a lot of people would be interested to hear the story I started Bodhi Kusuma in 2002 and my sister so happened to have a small property in Chippendale and so I said that I want to open a center so I can share the dhamma with everyone and she said just try it because I know nothing about the center about the Buddhist center or anything but I tried and open up my sister lent the place for me for four years so I started by myself and renovate the place and then I thought how I have to do it so I started to invite the monk from Indonesia from overseas to give the talk there so the people can have uh, the benefit from them so actually before we go on to 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 tell the story I just want to know at that time when you started off how about your husband how did he feel about uh, the center Buddhism at the beginning, at the very beginning? Uh, he is, wasn't into Buddhism, my husband, not much, but I was very fortunate that he just support what I want to do. So I was very lucky that he, I paid for, he paid for everything. <laughs> Every Sunday, we have the Sunday Puja, and I'm the only one who cook for everyone every Sunday. It's like seven different dishes that I have to carry from home. So the people started to come. They don't bring anything. And after uh, they heard the monks giving the talk, and was lots of people, full of people, but then when we put the donation box in the front, they just passed by and go home. And my husband was so happy, was there and watching, and he said that, why do you want to do all this? You know, people don't even care. You know, they don't even give anything. And so I explained to him, it's okay. As long as we can afford it, let them, you know, just come and listen to the Dhamma. I said, so then he understand. So he said, okay, whatever you want to do, um, just do it. So from what you said, it sounds like even though he didn't really understand at the beginning, but he kind of went along and tried out, do I follow you. So you know that's for you know for me that sounds like a really good husband who supports everything. So that you know, that sounds like you know John has you know in a Buddhist kind of term come down from heaven to build spiritual accumulations with you. Do you feel like that? How do you feel about that? Yes, I think I think so. I'm I'm very lucky to have a, a good husband who are very supportive and uh, who really support whatever I want to do for the uh, sasana, for the Buddhism. And especially when our son uh, ordained, that is a little very difficult for him, being only one son in the family, especially the Chinese family, so he wants the son to continue the business and everything, but he, he still support and give this place. The, the, after five years in Chippendale, we move here because this given by John. 
to, for us to use, which is very, very convenient location. And then without, I realize many, many people came to the uh, center. We have uh, meditation retreats. We have uh, many activities. First time I came to Bodhi Kusuma was when I first arrived in Sydney. At that time, a friend of mine took me here and I saw, oh, there's no one here. So I only came and pay respect and then I never stepped my foot again for another two years. And another friend of mine told me that Bodhi Kusuma was holding an exhibition about forest tradition. And at that time, I was particularly interested to go to the temple. So I came back, I had a look at the exhibition, and I felt, oh, this is really interesting. And from there on, I start to come uh, more regularly to attend teachings by the monk from Thailand and then um, joining the regular activities, for example, the Pindapata at the end of the month. And from there on, I start to realize that maybe this is the right place for me. This is where I should come. So from, from there on, I keep on coming. And then I think it started to become one of the volunteers and helping out with Bodhi Kusuma's activities and also joining the Bodhi Sada activities as well. So I really enjoy and learn so many things since then and hopefully for the future I will still be learning many things and get the benefits. Also help out with volunteering activities. Thank you for the opportunity. ตอนนี้ต่อมานี่ก็โยมนีนาก็ได้มีศรัทธาที่จะซื้อที่ที่จะสร้างวัดเรียกว่าชื่อวัดว่าโพธิศรัทธาเนี่ยห่างจากเม
so we, we gave it a try. And in fact, I think on the first day we, we did receive some alms from someone in the neighborhood. So we've, we've just kept that tradition going. Since we have the sacred Buddha statue from the Sangharaja, it's feel that it is only appropriate to have a proper dam where we will use it for all kinds of uh, ceremony and people also can practice around here. Before, we only have like a small dam, the original dam. And one day, as usual, I was working here by myself to do the clearing and everything. And I was got so tired, so I thought I just uh, sit down near th th that previous dam. And I was sitting there and suddenly the thought come up, it would be nice if I can have the Buddha Rupang, the Buddha statue, to put it in the middle of the dam. So I don't know why it's the thought, it just suddenly come up. So I remembered that in Wat Bowon, they have a very, very good Buddha Rupang selection, the sacred one from the Somdet Sangharaja. So I called Thailand straight away and asked whether is it possible for me to have the Buddha statue for the monastery. And they said, yes, it's possible. And we receive the Buddha statue just two weeks before the Somdet Sangharaja passed away at 100 years old. I'm impressed by Nina Yi's determination to her vision to make Bodhikusama, the center in Sydney, possible because it is an important place for people to have a refuge where they can, for moments, for periods of their life, remove themselves from the stressful situations, conditions of, of daily life, of the family, of the workplace and have time to reflect, to meditate, to understand themselves, understand their, how their mind works. And of course, uh, then establishing uh, what Bodhisattva is, uh, is another great vision, because this is a place environmentally, it's, it's a forest, geographically a distance from the, from the big city, and it also, nature has a very healing effect on the human heart. The Buddha advised his newly ordained monks to go off to the forest, because in forests, in natural settings, we begin to feel a, a sense of calm that naturally comes through relating to what is natural, that, which we don't get from what is artificial. Big cities are artificial creations by human beings, but forests, uh, are not creations by human beings. They're, they're natural, they're part of the environment, and we begin to recognize our own relationship to nature through contemplating nature itself. So on this very auspicious day, I want to give my blessing and best wishes to the head monk here, Ajahn Wardamo, and to Yom Nina, and all of you who've uh, put your efforts, your, uh, put so much uh, of your goodwill into establishing the center in Sydney and, and the monastery here, Wat Bodhisattva. This is something worth supporting, something worth learning from. It, the more you put your heart into it, the more you'll begin to understand your own nature. You'll, understand that the Buddha was teaching not about the afterlife, but the, this life here and now that we have to bear with in its various changing forms and mutations. This Katina ceremony that you're all taking part in is a tradition that has been followed since the time of the Buddha more than two and a half thousand years ago. It is a special occasion because it requires five months 
to spend the entire three-month range retreat in one monastery. And to have five months in the West is very difficult. It requires much support and sacrifice from you, the lay community. On behalf of the monks who have stayed here over this range retreat, myself, Ajahn Satoru, Ajahn Brahmayano, Tan Panyawudo and Tan Titamido, we are very grateful and appreciate all the devotees, donors and supporters who have generously offered the daily meals, useful requisites and contributed to our solitary dwellings and other monastery buildings. We hope that your generous offerings and support have given you much happiness and benefit to your own spiritual practice and growth in the Dhamma. We can bring more understanding in our own lives and in the lives of others by creating a monastery and a situation where people can practice goodness together. And we do need a physical environment. We need the physical structures, the physical place to do that. And John and Nina Yi and the family, the children of the, their family and all of you have made this happen in this particular place. And we have these facilities here and we can see obviously this is the beginning and it takes a lot of energy, effort and help by all of you to make that a realisation. เรามาร่วมสร้างวัดสถานที่แห่งนี้จะเป็นที่ให้เกิดความสุขความเดินถ้าอภิบาลอาจารย์ที่ประพฤติปฏิบัติชอบผ่านทางนี้ผ่านม
This is something very special that perhaps we shouldn't take for granted or overlook in our lives. The anniversary to us is very special because every year we've been working so hard for both for Bodhikusuma and for Bodhisattva. So it is like appreciating what the people help daily, weekly, uh, the volunteers and myself do the hard work every day. So it's like a, a, a rewarding that we achieve every year, we achieve something better. ก็พร้อมขึ้นมาทั้งสามีทั้งครอบครัวก็มีความสุขมีความเอ่อเจริญอันนี้so just give her three satus to Auntie Nina and Bodhisattva and Bodhikusuma three times together. Yes.